bummed about the Braves' early exit and will be for the next four or five months until baseball is back in full swing. I've been watching the ALCS, um, the best series left. Uh, I wish it was the World Series because clearly these are the best two teams. But I had a thought as it's tied one to one, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on it. I think the Yankees overplayed their hand using their bullpen so much last night. I don't disagree with the move that you take Paxton out after two and a third, although he looked fresh and um, looked good after eight, eight or ten days of rest. Uh, he just got a little bit on his command, but I don't disagree being down one nothing to Justin Verlander first and second, two outs with Bregman at the plate. Don't disagree there. The thing I disagree with is you you bring in Chad Green. He two and a third, spotless relief. The Astros weren't sniffing a hit at all. And uh, 22 pitches, five out of the strike zone. She's absolutely cruising. Um, and then you bring in Adam Adovino, a uh, curveball specialist. And he's been excellent as well against um, this season. But against George, they brought him in to face George Springer, who has a great average against breaking balls. Saw him last night, saw that breaking ball. Yes, it was a poorly executed pitch, but what's one more batter for Chad Green? It would have been, uh, I believe, three total innings for Chad Green stealing an extra out. Instead, they bring Adovino in, he hangs a breaking ball, and Springer crushes it on the first pitch, and now it's tied, and now you're in the bullpen roulette. And I'll preface it by saying, yes, the Yankees are happy with a 1-1. Um, stealing one in Houston, they would have taken it, but I think, um, and they would have won last night, weren't, weren't it for Correa's glove heroics in the sixth inning off the deflection off of Jose Altuve and just an amazing throw to nab uh, DJ LeMayu at the plate in the sixth and then the walk-off homer. But I just think if they would have stuck with Chad Green for another batter and then gone uh, down the line with their relievers, I think it would have been better um, better suited and they would have had a 2 nothing, 2 nothing series lead. Now you've exposed your other options like CC Sabathi only coming in to face one batter, J.A. Happ having to come in, uh, Chapman coming in throwing 25 pitches, and he was supposed to be able to uh, throw two innings. Uh, just just the, that thing in the series, especially with Luis Severino, probably not going to be able to give you more than five innings in game three facing Garrett Cole. I just think if you would have uh, left Jack Green in for that batter, I don't know that uh, Springer might have still hit the homer and it would have been a moot point. But I just think the eye test would have told you give him one more batter. Because now, now you've given the Astros more information, more um, mental notebook for their hitters. And their uh, Bregman and, and all, all of those guys have amazing, amazing memory and the more you face a pitcher in a series, the more likely you're going to get a hit because he has no secrets. And I think uh, exposing that many bullpen options, even though it's your strength, uh, and the Astros are just such a deep lineup, I think that that could play big. And, of course, with Garrett Cole pitching next, uh, it could really affect the Yankees. And going to your bullpen too many times, Bullpen roulette, we've seen it all season. It doesn't work. Uh, one of one of your pitchers you're going to go to isn't going to have a 1,000% uh, be uh, on point the entire time. So I think going to your bullpen for what I, whatever it was, eight innings, yeah, uh, I just think it's going to have a looming black cloud effect for the Yankees the rest of this series. But I'm hoping for a seven-game nip and tuck series uh but 
it's just fun to debate and fun to think about, but I'll uh, leave it to you and see if you agree. But um, go Braves and hope this offseason comes quick and has a lot of action for me to report on.